Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 11,060 pound 2022 Arctic Wolf Model 3660 Suite. This is their ultra popular big mid bunk fifth wheel. And we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around tour today, show you all the ins and the outs. And let's go ahead and get on to the inside and we'll start with the slide outs closed. Okay guys, so we're on, with the slide outs closed here, as you can see as with any other big slide out, uh, multi slide out fifth wheel, you're not gonna get much to the, uh, anything back here in the living and kitchen area. Now you can access the mid bunk, which is always nice since it's right here by the entry door. You have access to the loft and you also are gonna have access to the bedroom and bathroom. Now, one of the things on these that I always like um, is the fact that when you have the slide out in, in the bedroom, you can still open the door. Um, you can't always do that on everything. And then of course you always are gonna have access to all of your control panels, which is nice. So I think this big fifth wheel is best used at a de destination, the de destination. Okay, um, apparently I just made up a new word. Destination, there we go. But uh, let's go ahead now, open up these slide outs and we'll start with the living area. I think you're gonna like this one, stay tuned. So as you can see with the slide outs open, you have this nice open and expansive living area. And so starting back at the back, you have a trifold sleeper sofa that will turn out into a bed. You can see that you do have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed, which is nice. So if you if your guests need to plug anything in, they can do that very easily back there. You can see that you have these zebra shades throughout this whole living area. People either love them or hate them, but the nice thing about them is you can filter out as much or as little light as you want, which is a nice thing. Now this one has tons of big windows and you have them kind of a little bit on the off door side on the back. And these two windows on both sides of the sofa, they do not open just for uh, clarity's sake. I know some people don't always prefer that. And then you're gonna have these nice two big picture windows on your campsite, which is nice. Plus, if we look back over there, you can see you have a full viewing window in the entry door. Now again, this window here does not open. I'm okay with that, but I know some people aren't. That's why I like to point things like that out. You can also see that you have your, uh, or your windows rather, are fully framed out, which is pretty cool. You are going to have a freestanding table and chairs. You have two full-time chairs and two foldable hideaway guest chairs. And notice how much room you have on both sides of the dinette. That's something I think a lot of people really like in this floor plan, including myself. And you'll notice that you have six and a half foot tall slide outs in here, which is really, really handy, especially if, you, especially if you're taller like myself. You can actually stand in there if you're on the inside. Now, one of the things I always like to point out is back over here, you do have an outlet in the slide out. That is an incredibly uncommon thing to find, and I really like that, especially if you're going to use the table to do some mobile work, or if the kids are, you know, if you're full-timing in this and the kids are homeschooled, they can do their work here and plug in their laptops and stuff. Now, as we spin back around this way, you can see that you do have two theater recliners. These are going to have the light, heat, and massage in them if you're plugged into 110-volt power. And you've got the wider center console, which is nice. If we take a seat on the theater recliners, you're looking directly across at your entertainment center. Now, the TV is not mounted yet. We did option this particular unit with the TV. So it would go right there. It is a 40 inch TV. You've got your connections right here. They're easy to get to. You're also gonna have a 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. And then you've got your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system there as well. Now, as you can see, you do have a little bit of carpet. Um, that really is the only significant amount of carpet in here. 
Um, and I think most people will be okay with that. Is it ideal? No, but it's better than some that I've seen. And then as we're looking down here, you can see that there's no heat vents in the floor. Your heat vents are actually in the cabinets. So that's going to be easy cleaning, which is something, especially in a bunkhouse, that is super nice to see. We'll kind of give you a preview of the kitchen. This one has a deceptively good kitchen, and we'll take a look at that here in just a little bit. But as we move past that, you can see that you do have a 110 volt ceiling fan. You can also see your first of two 15,000 BTU standard air conditioners here. So you don't have to pay extra like some brands to upgrade this to a 15K AC. And you can also see all of the blue accent lights. Now you can turn those off if you don't like them. I think they look really neat, um, but that's just my opinion. And before we get to the kitchen space, I do want to mention that you do have your control panels over here. So you've got your LTE Wi-Fi hotspot prep right there. Um, this QR code is for the rear vision camera. I'll talk more about that when we get to the exterior portion. You can see you've got your voltmeter for your battery. That's part of the juice pack solar option or solar package that is standard. You've got uh, one of your thermostats your electric water heater switch. And then right here, you've got your main control panel. So the nice thing about this is you can, you know, you have a physical button to turn everything on and off. Now you can Bluetooth this to your phone and work it off that way, um, which is a pretty neat feature. And this works off of a hidden version of the one control system. Um, normally right here, would be a one control touchscreen. Um, due to the shortage of those, this one does not have that, um, but you still have all the functionality of that system, which is nice. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead, jump back out here and we'll crack open all this storage. And I tell you, this has got some really decent storage space, especially for a bunkhouse. So with the storage all opened up, I actually want to start over here above the entertainment center. So if you take a look in there, you have just a massive amount of storage. Um, now this is the one area they redesigned for this year for 2022. So as you can see, you still have great storage in there. They just moved this back just a little bit. If we look on each side of the fireplace, you can see you have uh, some more good storage for some DVDs or CDs or something. Little component shelf right there if you wanted to use it for that. Now, above your trifold sleeper sofa, you are going to have some storage here. These are not strut supported. I really wish they would do that. Um, I'll go ahead and open one more of these up for you. So you, it will go all the way across. And I like those fluted glass panels there, which is nice. Now, as we get back to the kitchen proper, you do have all thermofoil pressed membrane countertops. So in... Uh, if you're not familiar with those, it's the lighter solid surface. Now you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass uh, cover oven down below in case you want to do some baking. You can see you've got one drawer there, a pots and pans drawer underneath uh, the oven, some good storage for a waste basket or extra baking sheets and stuff. You've got your uh, dual purpose backsplash and cutting board, microwave and hood range vent and some good cabinetry space there. Now, if we take a look here, I do wanna pause for just a second uh, so you can see the options and MSRP sheet. So um, feel free to pause the video and look at that. Now, if we get in here, you can see that this one has a $91,886 MSRP. Now that is MSRP. Uh, that's not what we sell them for every day. We have everyday low prices here at Custom RV. However, since these videos kind of live forever, I can't advertise it. So I will post a link down to our website below in the description where you can check that at any time without having to uh, talk to a human if you don't want to. Um, and I'll also uh, give you some information at the end of this video in case you want to actually talk to a human. Now over here, you do have the 10.7K 
cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. Um, these are awesome. And I will show you what that looks like here in just a minute. Let me kind of get some of this stuff out of the way first. You do have a very nice sized pantry right here. Good storage above the peninsula. So as you can see, that goes all the way down. You are also going to have good storage for a wastebasket, if I can not fall over. Oops. I'm watching the camera instead of watching what's around me. Now, if we go ahead and shut some of these up here. So you can see I don't edit my videos. Um, you can see there's your freezer portion of the 12 volt compressor fridge. And then down here is the refrigerator portion. So good space there. Um, this will work off of the solar panels as well as the charge line on your tow vehicle. You've got the handy uh, lock there to keep it shut during transit. And the nice thing about these refrigerators is you can actually use them while going down the road. In a lot of states now, they're making it to where you cannot run propane going down the road. Not every state has yet, but a big chunk of them have started to do that. These are also faster cooling, uh, which is nice. They cool down in about an hour and a half. Great electrical outlet and USB port uh, placement right there. You've got the one basin sink, high rise spring loaded sprayer faucet and the hand sanitizing station over there. You're also going to have a bonus drawer underneath the refrigerator and three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers on the peninsula. Now, last thing I do want to touch on before we jump to the bunk is you do have some more uh, uh, outlets and USB ports right there as well. So stepping into the bunk room, you can see you have another trifold sleeper sofa, little thin strip of carpet. That will turn out into another queen bed. And one of the neat things about a mid bunk is you have four separate sleeping areas. So you've got here, the loft, the master bedroom, and the sofa in the living area. So if you need to sleep a lot of people, you can do that fairly easy in here. This bunk will flip up out of the way in case you want to use this as an office or a second living area. Across from the sofa, you are going to have another TV backer. So if you do want to add a TV, you can. You've got all the appropriate hookups and USB ports right there. A little bit of storage down here. Same thing over here. You do have some good storage there. And then one thing that almost always gets overlooked in a bunkhouse is a place for the kiddos to hang their clothes. So I really like this. Um, I wish more manufacturers would put in a decent hanging closet space in their bunk rooms, especially rear bunk rooms. Those seem like they have the uh, worst amount of hanging storage. You've got AC and heat in here as well. And then you have a solid door where you can shut the kids in here on a rainy day. Now, as we go up these steps, you do have a motion sensor light there. Um, shoe garage right here, breakers and fuses right there as well. You've got your ladder to get up to the loft space. And as you can see, you have another queen size loft here. Nice, big, thick teddy bear mattress. Um, you've got AC vents up here as well. Another light that I forgot to turn on. And then if you did want to add a TV, you could do that here. Um, personally, I wouldn't, but it is there in case you want to do that. So with that being said, let's go ahead, jump up to the master bedroom and bathroom. So as we step into the master bathroom, you do have a nice 30 by 36 inch shower, ABS shower surround and the slow close shower door. You can be upwards of 6'5 and still shower in here comfortably thanks to the flush floor shower and the skylight. A staple of the Cherokee uh, group is this large Max Air vent fan, which is always a nice feature. And then down here, you're also going to have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room that around there if you're taller like myself or if you are a little bit wider in the hips. Now over here, you have your medicine cabinet. So good storage there for all of your toothpaste 
stuff like that. You get to look at my goofy face. And then down here, you've got your uh, motion sensor light. You're also gonna have an electrical outlet, thermal foil press membrane countertops, nice big sink that you can actually get adult sized hands in. And then in here, you've got some good storage for a trash can, some extra toilet paper, or some towels. Now, as we come into the bedroom, one of the things that I really like about this product is they have linoleum all the way throughout here, which is, again, really nice. So we'll start up up front here. You have the desk, which is a new feature for 2022. So you could put one of those dinette chairs up here um, or make it a makeup vanity. You know, put your mirror over there and whatever, and uh, that would be another good application for that. You've got household and USB outlets right there. Shelf up top. Again, you get to look at my goofy face. As we come in here, you have great hanging closet space. That'll go all the way back over there. Notice you have dual lights in here just to make it really easy to see what you're doing. Again, you'll get to look at my goofy face. I am just an idiot with a camera, after all. You've got great storage space here, household and USB outlets here. Now this would be a good nightstand, and then you've got kind of a shoe garage down there as well. So I really like this. Um, it's a good use of space. Now over here, if I can not fall over, you've got two full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Um, storage here, I'll go ahead and open that up for you. And here is one of those drawers, so nice and deep. If you want to mount a TV up here, you can do that. And if we look up top, you do have the appropriate connections up there. Here's where your second AC would be located with uh, dual uh, AC runs, which is nice. There is your thermostat and some lighting controls. We'll come back to that here in just a second. But you do have a 72 by 80 king size bed. And real quick, um, I do want to go to the wider lens so you can get a better idea of how just big this bed is. It's really, really open and nice. Um, you've got windows that open on both sides of the bed, plus a cross breeze window um, back over here. And as we switch to the narrower thing, uh, lens, whatever you want to call it, um, you've got more good storage over here. You've got a hanging bar. So this would be his closet where the rest of it is hers. And if you uh, want to, this is prepped for a stackable washer dryer. If not, you could use one of these shelves as another uh, nightstand, so to speak. But great storage here. Um, I personally do not recommend the washer dryers in RVs, but I know a lot of people really do prefer having them. Um, I just don't see that they're very reliable, but that is my personal opinion. And I encourage you to do your research before you take anybody's opinion. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead now, jump onto the outside and take a look at the features there, and I think you're going to like what you see on this one. So we're back on the outside of this 2022 Arctic Wolf Model 3660 Suite. So up front here, you have a fiberglass front cap with LED lights in it. Up front here is where your battery box and your spare tire is located. I don't have my keys for that one, so I can't open it. Um, you've got your Rhino pin box. Back up in here is your docking light switch and your battery vent. This does have the four point electric auto leveling ground control 3.0 system. Right here, you are gonna have two 20 pound propane tanks. 30 pound tanks will fit in there if you wanna upgrade those. 20 pound tanks are easier to exchange though. You've got your leash latch, and you can see that this one desperately needs a bath. That is one thing about us being a no hidden fee dealership. So we make sure these things are clean for you before you take it home. Now, this is awesome. 
And here's your pass-through storage. Now it's not a drop frame, but I really like that it is a flush floor. You've got cable and satellite hookups back over there and I'll give you a better angle of those. Motion sensor lights over here. You do have a little bit of plumbing over there, but it's not really in the way when you think about it. You're gonna have slam latches and magnetic hold backs on your baggage doors. So you've got motion sensor lights in here and there's those hookups. And all of your um, connections here at your aluminum framing is double-sided welded, which is really nice. And here is a good way to show you that. So you can see that you have welds on both sides there. So that is a very big construction perk. Not every fifth wheel does that. And then if you want to add a TV, you would run your cables out there. Now, if we back up, I've got a trailer in the way, so I can't pull back up as far as I would like to. You've got two outside speakers, a huge power awning with LED light strips in it. Over here, you've got your quad step entry. So that's a Moride step above step. You can also see that you've got the larger entry assist handle and the ultra popular black glass entry door. Now, if we come down here and take a look underneath, you can see that this is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So it's forced air heated. And this has two inch thick sidewalls, just like a big luxury Montana fifth wheel. And the reason I point that out is not all of these lighter weight fifth wheels have the two inch thick sidewalls. A lot of them have an inch and a half thick wall. You can see all of your slide outs are prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers. You've got great looking wheels, aluminum wheels. And then there's those back jacks for your automatic leveling system. Coming back over here, you have an outside mini fr uh, fridge and freezer, which is really cool. You're gonna have a little dump sink here on a slide out tray. And then you've got another slide out tray here. No cooktop with this one. You've got household outlets, a light switch, another puck light, and good storage here for anything you need to keep out in the kitchen area. Back around this side, you're gonna have a spray port. And then down there where that little white tag is, is you, uh, you have a propane quick connect. Now, all of these Arctic Wolves are prepped for a rear ladder. So if that's something you're interested in, we could definitely add that for you. You're also gonna have a rear travel rack. That's an optional piece of equipment. It's rated at 200 pounds, so just keep that in mind. And then you have the Bluetooth wireless observation camera, which is pretty cool. These things will work while you're going down the road to help you make safer lane changes. And they also work when you're backing up so that you can back into a campsite or a, a storage building safely. Now, coming back over here, you have your 50 amp service. If we look down here, you can see um, just all of your framing system. So it's a nice thick I-beam. Now, as we come up here between the slide outs, Again, there is a really good look at those wheels. Over here, man, that wind is cold. You're going to have your six gallon gas and electric water heater, a handy convenience light. All of your hookups are right here, easy to get to. You've got an outside shower. And then back up underneath there is where your termination is. Now it is underneath the slide out. I don't particularly care for that, but it is what it is. And then over here you have your handles for your gray and your black tanks. Notice the gate valves are up inside of the underbelly. That's going to keep those from freezing. Lastly, I wanted to show you this. You do have, again, more storage over here, but I like that they went ahead and put the little clippy doodle. And yes, that's a technical term, but um, underneath the slide out, that way you don't rip it off 
or crush it if it was a magnetic holdback. And then right here is going to be your ground control 3.0 auto leveling system. Normally they don't have this particular panel. The, uh, the rest, the other system is in short supply. So this is basically what they can get. And then you've got your propane tank right there. So with that being said, guys, and there is a hole there that I just about tripped and face planted. Um, that would have been funny. But with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Al uh, not Alpha Wolf, Arctic Wolf Model 3660 Suite. If you're interested in this fifth wheel and you have any questions or if you like pricing and availability, I'll post a link in the description below down to our website where you can check that at any time without having to talk to a human. If you do want to talk to a human, you can either give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can send us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, we thank you very much for watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell. That'll help you keep up to date with all of our new content we have coming out for you. And believe me when I say we've got some really cool units coming. You're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. But with that being said, remember at Custom RV, we're a hidden, or we, oh my gosh, we are a no hidden fee dealership. So there's no extra surprises when you purchase a unit for us. New used, we can do hitches. We have all kinds of parts. We have a full service department. And uh, we leave the hidden fees up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women. So men can go camping. With that being said, guys, again, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoy. Have a wonderful rest of your day.